fact, the congregation for the doctrine, the dicastery for the doctrine of the faith, DDF, the dicastery, congregation unit, dicastery for the doctrine of the faith. A Brazilian bishop asked a question Can people who have changed their gender, transgender, switch over? He was a male. Sorry, close your eyes. He has removed the male thing, put some hole there. He has become a woman. Some women have put something there, like a stick, with hormones, the flesh, has become something active, and he has become a, a male. So these transgender people, can they baptize? Can they serve as God parents to baptize people, to normal male and female? And the doctrine, or the Dakatri said, yes, under three conditions. But you know the media, the media will never, CNN, BBC, these people, Al Jazeera, they will never give the conditions. They say, oh, the Pope has agreed to that Dakatri said, teaches that they can become baptized or do the work of a God parent. The, the document, the Krakasi didn't say that. He said, yes, in principle, you can become a God parent, you can baptize. They are human beings, still created in God's image. But, one, unless they renounce the transgenderism they have created in themselves, you were a man from beginning of initio. Biology cannot be transformed. So you, you touch biology created by a higher being God. So you renounce at that and condemn that. That should be done. Number two, you must make a firm commitment that you will never go back. You will not deceive the church and deceive yourself. Number three, the priest, the bishop who is going to allow a transgender person to, to baptize or to baptize should make sure there is no public scandal. These three conditions are tough to fulfill. Why? The guy has become a woman. The woman has become a guy, a man. How do they do it and reverse the whole trend? Remove the thing, the stick there, go and put the hole there to become a female. Or cover the hole. Whatever it is, it's going to be tough, scientifically speaking. It's going to be tough to make an undertaking that I will no longer go back to that. Number three, I'm going to make sure it's not a scandal. Ah, you are going to baptize. Nobody should see it. We are not going to see that you are going to baptize. It's going to be difficult to fulfill the three, the three conditions. But the media they didn't bring the three criteria. The condition. They said, oh, the Pope said it's possible to, trans, to baptize a transgender person. It caused a lot of havoc the past week or so. I'm only briefing you from Rome. It is almost a no. Yes, in prison, a human being. The transgender person is a human being. He's still a human being, created God's image. But deviation or whatever ideology has changed him or her. But he's still a human being. So in principle, he can baptize. He can say as a God parent. But there are conditions he should fulfill. Difficult conditions to fulfill. Is for our information. Somebody has the college standard. Bishop, come up quickly and say something. The document said it already. It doesn't need the Bishop's conference in Ghana to say something new. There are three conditions they cannot fulfill. News from SECAM, Africa Bishop's Conference in Madagascar. SECAM was in Rome for this synod. And SECAM, as Africa Bishop's Conference, 54 countries, 904 bishops have said we support human values. Christian values, principles for the family. A family is a man, Vir, and a woman, Muriel. A family can never be a man, a man, a woman, a woman. Those things we have already made clear. So we do not accept LGBTQQPPAASS. They are 13. Plus, plus, plus. You could more than 13. People say, why is it more? It is more. They themselves say it is more. Because you don't know where it's going to end. An ideology perhaps doesn't have an end. So it's not only for LGBTQ. LGBTQ. It is 13. LGBTQQPPAASS plus, plus, plus. If I have time, one day I will tell you all the remaining that add up to 13. So Bishop's Conference in Africa and Madagascar have at the Synod made a public declaration. We support family values 
principles in Christianity. In other words, they do not support LGBTQ transgender ideology. That the German church almost split into two want to propose in their German synodal way. In 2026, they will form a council with strong lay people, theologians from 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 uh, Regensburg, uh, Brewer, you are there, from what you to get, from Mainz. Many brilliant lay people, Germany, are taking over the Bishop Conference. The Bishop President, Jose Borde, Bishop of Osnabrück, has resigned. He tells you a lot. He doesn't want to be pushed to go a certain synodal way, a certain way which is not the universal way. You have the ideologies. The church says no and no and no. The Pope only yesterday gave a warning. The German synodal way is not the church's way. So stop forming a council 2026 to decide on your own. You are bringing a schism. You are wanting something from the church. The Pope has warned them. I hope they will listen to what the church is, the church is saying. So Africa, we have said no to the German synodal way. They can bring their monies, but we will not agree to their synodal way. Misio can bring money. Misero, they are all in Germany. We want their money for the church, but we don't want their ideology to go their own way and accept transgender and LGBTQ people. Three, news from Ghana, Cali Bishop Conference. From Rome, Africa, we are in Ghana now. We met for two weeks in Sunyane, November 5th to November 18th for our annual plenary assembly. We started with a retreat, five-day retreat, and another five-day meeting. At the end of the meeting, we issued a communique which was informed by the team fostering growth of the church in Ghana in a collaborative ministry. Our numbers have dropped from 2000, we were 15.1%, 2010, 30.1%, 2020, but we did it 2021, the census, we are 10.1%, a drop of 3 percentage points, very, very huge. When we were 3 million 200, we are now 2 million something. We have dropped by 256,000 